So this week we're out in Mile Lakes National Park. Um, we're setting up a series of camera traps and passive acoustic recorders to uh, monitor the, the movements of dingoes and their, um, and their communication in the environment and natural communication. So the Mile Lakes Dingo Project is a collaboration between the Centre for Ecosystem Science at the University of New South Wales and Taronga. Um, we established it in 2019 with the aim of um, developing and testing non-lethal management tools for dingoes. Um, obviously living alongside dingoes is difficult, particularly for livestock producers. Um, and at the moment the tools that they have at their disposal are for the most part um, lethal, lethal control. Um, so we're trying to fill this gap with a biologically um, relevant non-lethal tool. We're also trying to understand the communication system of dingoes, so how dingoes uh, communicate their ownership um, of space or territories, um, particularly the use of scent and, and sound, so howls. Um, to do that we've established a number of uh, camera trap stations on known marking spots, which we find with a uh, with a National Parks and Wildlife Service trained scat detection dog called Rain. Um, we've also got a number of um, radio collar dogs, um, dingoes, around the, uh, around the National Park. Um, so part of our job this week is to catch up with, catch up with them, check how they're, they're going. Um, the collars record their location every couple of hours um, and send that via satellite. So we're able to see how they're um, how they're ranging, and importantly, when our experiment starts, how their ranging is affected by the the tools that we uh, that we're testing. So the sounds and sense of other dingoes in the environment. In addition to those techniques, we also have a um, sort of citizen science sightings reporting form on our website carnivorecoexistence.info, where members of the public or anyone can who sees a dingo can record that, that sighting and that's very useful for us in um, developing a picture of, of where these uh, individuals and packs are, are ranging, um, particularly for uncollared dingoes because we can identify those animals by their, um, by their sort of unique um, coat patterns, particularly the white on the leg and some other features. So the camera traps are generating literally thousands of images of uh, wildlife from the area. So whenever an animal wanders past the camera, um, it's detected and an image is taken. Um, it's not selective to dingo. So we have um, a really massive job in um, working out or in, in getting the data from those, from those cameras. Um, we've set up a citizen science project um, on the Zooniverse platform and currently the zoo volunteers are testing, um, testing that, that process and they're doing a fantastic job in um, identifying uh, the, the critters on the cameras. So the project is funded by the Herman Slade Foundation and Taronga. Um, we're working on the ground with local partners from National Parks and Wildlife Service um, and, and a number of other partners in the area including Mid Coast Council. So it's a real collaborative effort.